I don't like koalas. Adam does not like koala. Koala is the most terrible, terrible. He has terrible eyes that follow Adam wherever he goes. Adam tries to explain to his parents he does not like koala. Every night when it's time to go to bed, Adam has the same routine. He has a bath, puts on his pyjamas and he brushes his teeth. Adam puts koala away, away in different places. In the kitchen, in the sitting room, in a bag. Koala is always there in his bed, on his pillow, getting closer and closer. I don't like koala. Father says, don't play with koala like that. You'll lose him. I don't like koala. Mummy says, don't leave koala behind. I know you'll miss him. I don't like koala. After snack time, Daddy says, you must have loved your snack. You ate every bit. What snack, asked Adam, or maybe it was koala, Daddy said. I am sick and tired of koala. He takes koala on a long walk. He climbed up the hills, then around the rocks, and wandered among the trees, and when Adam was certain koala was not looking, he ran away among the trees, among the rocks, over the hills, all the way home. Koala was there! That night, as Adam dressed ready for bed, he knows there is nothing worse than koala. Koala is the most terrible, terrible, his terrible face, his terrible claws, his terrible eyes, but following him wherever he goes, watching and watching and watching and watching and watching for a more terrible, terrible. Maybe Koala isn't so terrible after all. Adam makes sure Koala is comfortable. He makes sure he is closer than close. And right before he goes to sleep, he whispers, I Thanks for watching. Bye.